All right, so we're checking out the only game that starts you living in an alley with a drug dealer right around the corner. It's Metro Sim Hustle. That's that's the best description I can give this game. Y'all know. No game, damn it. After a fantastic evening of sleeping in urine, it's now time to go back to the grind and make that cash. I'm not gonna lie, I think I want a real place to sleep in. You can buy different places, and I still want to get taken over by terrorists. That again, YouTube, it's part of the it's part of the game. I always love a game where I can say something absolutely ridiculous and it's a hundred percent true. Why are you not looking directly at me? You're looking at the Dextro machine, but I'm standing right here. Why is there a bottle of bleach right outside of our I call it an apartment. It's it's an abandoned alley. That's where we live right now. There's a lot of work to do, but I can't go to work smelling like trash, so it's time to take a shower in a public bathroom. Joke's on me, there's no bathroom here. This is also the only game where your ability to drive a metro is rewarded with sour cream chips. Well, I'm hungry, so since I'm here, I guess I'll get a nuke box. The thing I love most about nuke box, and this isn't sponsored, is that it has just the right amount of nuclear material inside of the food. You don't want too much nuclear material in your food, otherwise you end up getting like an extra sternal cladial mastoid or something. But with just a little bit of extra nuclear goo, you can have yourself a slightly larger big log. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is the most appetizing JPEG I've ever seen. All right, we're sushi land. I have to use the restroom. Remember kids, always drink plenty of water. I like to drink about three to four gallons every time I'm thirsty. Hey, you got me. I'm here to clog up your toilet. When I can't find the V button and I have to look down, I feel it's almost like I'm not able to find the, uh, the old urine sprayer or something over here. And a little extra from me. I just noticed something. This game forces you to urinate inside of the toilet. <laughs> My stream was mechanically forced into the toilet. <laughs> it's like, well done, dev utilizing in-game mechanics to make it so I can't piss anywhere but inside of the toilet bowl. Why can't this exist in real life? So you do actually clean yourself in the sink. I can only imagine you're taking, is it, is there even, there's not even toilet paper in here. So I just have to run my head underneath the sink. My sanity is slowly going down. I wonder why with this game. I'm hoping once I have a better apartment, we can pick up some of the lovely substance abusing women that inhabit this town. There is not one decent human being that we have found in this entire city. Do you know that? I like, it's, it's, I probably clicked on this sink about 30 times and my sanity just dropped. My sanity is dropping in real life because if you notice each time I click on it, it only fills up like half a bar of hygiene. Oh my God, I've got a freak. It's Screwberry. That says Screwberry, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Screwberry. Now made with fresh brood reality. Out of all the weirdness that's in this game, the one thing that annoys me is the fact that this guy teleports from being inside of the stripper joint to being in front of the metro at all times. Oh, the terrorism uh, threat is only low today. What the hell, a dollar speeding fine? It's a dollar, why even give me the fine? <laughs> Seriously, a dollar speeding fine is so pathetic. Like, I, I don't even want to tell people that I got fined. It's like going to jail for jumping on an elevator or some other random felony that's out there. I just noticed that the terrorism level is a lot like, like the weather. You know what I mean? Like how the weatherman is like, the chances of precipitation today is low. <laughs> Except what we're at. The city is so screwed up that the chances of terrorism are low. I find it particularly interesting that after we crashed the train the last time, the, my, my boss gave me a beer as my bonus. <laughs> the fact that I have to talk to these people like this to regain my sanity is completely counterintuitive. Talking to anyone in this city would make me want to shoot myself. <laughs> That's right, everybody on. It's time for Greta crack open a, an ice cold beer while we're driving here. <laughs> oh my God, everything's so blurry. <laughs> it has like a three second belt attached to it. All right, passengers, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is I'm slightly drunk. The good news is the chance of terrorism is very low today. Guess what, everyone? We're gonna have a real place to sleep. If living in a below average dwelling with mold issues and relentless noise from the city is important to you, then look no further 
This furnished studio apartment features a dirty sofa, bed, microwave, and a bar fridge right next to the sleeping quarters. You'll be pleased to find that the included bathroom features a door for privacy and a real toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Pamper yourself in the shower that delivers a random blast of scalding hot water for terminating even the most defiant of bed bugs and mites. Please give me this property. This is an auspicious day. I'm going to treat myself to some delicious nuclear foods and maybe a beer or two. Jacob, my boy, give me your finest light beer. I can't wait to feel miserable. I'm going with the Italian pasta again today. I just noticed that Jacob has a uh, an exacto knife in the back of his store. Is there is there some some issues going on with you, Jacob? You're not looking directly at me. You're looking off to the side. Like maybe there's something that you want to tell me. <laughs> You're just looking or buying. Oh yeah, I can actually feel part of my organs shutting down. Oh, it's our girl on the cut screen. She looks just as dead fish eyed, lifeless as always. <laughs> All right, let me just lick this water fountain nozzle here, and then we'll go check our one-star Yelp-rated apartment out. I think it's over here. Features. Microwave, bar, fridge, oven with stove, top, full bathroom, window curtains. Why is that a feature? Why is having curtains a feature? Nearby entertainment in the way of the strip club. I'm just checking this van out because I feel like this is the kidnap van. Every kidnap van I've ever seen looks exactly like this one. They had to give me the apartment on the topmost friggin' floor. Even in the inventory in the cutscene, there's cocaine sitting in the back. Oh. Oh, it's everything I ever wanted. Hey, the last tenant left us another exacto knife. What do you know? And a big ass TV. What is this? Oh, there's even some refreshing bleach right over here. Can lick some of the grease off of the pizza. That's not too bad. Get our own microwave. Can you put the beer in the microwave? Okay, you cannot. Put the beer in the fridge, though. Remember, everyone, if you put your uh, your glow sticks in the fridge, it'll it'll brighten them their day back up a little bit. All right, let's see what the bathroom looks like. Wow, the toilet is the cleanest the cleanest item in the whole place. Is it just me, or in the reflection of the mirror, is there a portal to the other world surrounding our vent? No portal. Portal. This is fantastic. The best part is that if you miss the bowl. Uh, the bag of chips will catch you urine. Time to go back to work. Let me grab my beer. I love how there's a light switch here, but I'm not paying for it, so the lights are staying on. I feel lied to. I haven't met one single terrorist yet. It is. The terrorism thing is just like the weather guy. Like, the weather guy's never right. The terrorism guy is never right. Recreational drugs have no effect on me, except that I sometimes receive hallucinations. Last week, I experienced seven auditory hallucinations, five thermoceptive hallucinations, two tactile hallucinations, between eight and twelve visual hallucinations, and four chronoceptive hallucinations. Jesus! Would you like some narcotics? If only I had a way to escape this metal distress. What the hell is metal distress? Not much satisfies my hunger more than a frozen entree. I will go buy you one, because I want to know what happens when you receive it. The real question is, does he want it cooked, or can I just give it to him frozen? With all the drugs he apparently takes, I would hope he just eats it frozen. I hope you like oriental chicken, because that's what you're getting. I had a nightmare that I was being stabbed to death. Now I carry a kitchen knife around with me for self-defense. <laughs> this guy's the best guy in the whole game. I brought you oriental chicken. Oh, he pays $4 for it. I will certainly deal with you again. Give me all of your oriental chicken. I've got work to do. Now that right there is an inventory. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to mention that carrying a lot of weight slows you down in this game. Please buy all of this chicken from me. <laughs> One of them's for me though. Mmm. Looks like hearty EBP. Does everyone know what EBP is? It's explosive butt pee. Give me some of your extra strength cigarettes. I'm going to say hi to Ashley Bentley or whatever her name is. That reminds me too. I think they, there was an, an addition to the game. And w the addition is that you can now tip the stripper, I think. <laughs> sure, give me your Alka-Seltzers. I'm sure someone will buy it in there. Actually, you know what? Give me this too. I ain't gonna frisk you, partner. Only because I trust you ain't the type to cause no trouble. <laughs> You fool. Isn't this the same name as the guy that we buy all our drugs from? Why are people still having kids? Isn't the world supposed to end in a trillion years? Amanda, you always have the best commentary. Here's some cigarettes. Here you go, Maria. So that you can make it through your day. Well, here we go. 
<laughs> you can make it rain. <laughs> what is that sound when you give the tip? Why do I have a flashlight? I can just blast it in the dancer's face and no one cares. I like how the bouncers tell you not to sell any drugs inside of the club, but they're selling drugs inside of the club. Here's some happy dust. Did you already finish the rest of the stuff? Yes, please. Bruce Glutman, police officer. Oh, they got barbecue potato chips in here. Show some love for the grill season with these all year round taste bud frying barbecue potato chips. Now featuring only 5% natural ingredients. Oh, my boy's got a strong beer for $2. Oh, another glorious night at the club. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna do enough work to see what the next apartment building is like. I always like to start my morning off, but you know, with, it's the light beer, okay? I'm not, I'm not going too far here. I gotta give it to our guy. He's able to start and stop his stream all, like as many times as he wants. I'd like to uh, take a moment before we continue making money to point something out. Um, is that flavor Crackberry? Are you allowed to call people on your cell phone? I called 911 and nobody picked up. We're all screwed. Every time I come in here, I notice something a little bit more askew. Like there's a note here now. Was this note here before? Because now there's an exacto knife and a note. It's a sad day when I can make money faster selling frozen entrees to this guy than I can like doing the actual part of the game that you're supposed to do. All right, we're coming up on the last stop of the day, everyone. Drink your beers. I think the burp gets deeper each time. Like for all the, like the heavier the beer is, the deeper the burp. My kidneys are so angry. They're about to climb out of my throat. It's affecting my vision. I can't even see where I'm supposed to stop. I think it's right around here. After ruining lives for a while, we can now afford Maple House. This spacious, well-furnished unit on the 10th floor of a renovated downtown apartment building features an open kitchen and quick access to nearby amenities. Large windows keep this beautiful unit well lit throughout the day and present a stunning view of the area. You probably shouldn't walk through it and I was waiting for the other shoe to friggin' drop. I mean, I say I made the money through the train. Most of it was just made selling frozen entrees to the crazy guy that sees 35 different types of hallucinations. Oh, this is nice. I don't feel like my organs are gonna get taken out of my body or anything. Which room is mine? You gotta take the friggin' elevator? I don't know which one it is. Found it. I was just gonna try all of them until I found the right one. Look at this. There's even a bottle of ketchup sitting on the counter. My god. I don't know what sort of creature this is, but I mean, it's cool that it's there. My glow stick followed me from the shitty apartment to this apartment. Okay. Look at this. Plenty of closet space to hide the bodies. I'm gonna go ahead and christen the toilet real quick. There we go. Try and hit that toilet paper too, but I can't because the game won't let me. And a bed where I don't feel like I'm gonna get leprosy. So what does the pizza ordering app do? Going by this game. <laughs> It just teleported through the door. Is there anyone here? Hello? Jesus. I, whatever, I guess. It only gives 10 nutrition? This thing is garbage. Why did you even buy it? Oh, because it has four slices. That's why. Is anyone else here? I'm just curious to see. What the hell just closed my door? You know what? I don't want to be here anymore. Great, this is where the ring girl comes through the friggin' top of the elevator. Well, I found an even faster way to make infinite money. All you have to do is come over here, buy all the rum, and then this poor bastard over here <laughs> will buy them all for $2 more. Gotta leave one for me, though. Because you gotta... <laughs> you gotta come over here. You gotta tip one back. And then you gotta make it rain. <laughs> oh my god, it's her. It's her groaning. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Metro Sim Hustle. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.